Welcome back, everybody, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 4, 2022. And uh, we'll start by looking at the S&P 100, then the Nasdaq, uh, WTI, natural gas, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. And as you can see, we did pull back quite a bit at uh, the beginning of the session, and then we rallied. We got down towards roughly 4,000. Uh, 750 and then we basically popped to the upside i was expecting this market to pull back towards uh, the middle of the bullish band i still think that is where we are going before we go towards uh, 5000 uh, but uh, that is to be seen if we uh, take out uh, 4800 uh, then it's more likely that this market will shoot towards uh, 5000 but otherwise pullbacks towards give or take 4700 or in best case scenario down to 4660 at the 50 moving average that are definitely um, a buying opportunity to buy the dip we're still in a major uptrend even though there's a uh, quite a lot of noise that 2022 is going to be a year when this market completely falls apart if you just look at this trend um, as long as we are above the 50 moving average, 200 moving average, uh, it, that is not going to change. People are still buying into this market. And uh, I will uh, discuss this in length in the video about the S&P 500 and uh, the forecast for 2022. If you look at technical indicators for uh, the S&P 500, we can see that the MACD is still very bullish. The stochastic is still in bullish territory and crossing the signal line, also a bullish indication. And we're only at 61 in the RSI, which is, uh, um, which, which is very low at this current stage. So there's still a lot of room to the upside. We're also far away from the top of the bullish band. So we'll probably won't see any major resistance until we get to 4,834. Uh, uh, so let's look at the NASDAQ. Yeah, that took some time. So Nasdaq here looks like a bullish flag pattern is a, is a developing here. And if that is the case, then this will most likely head towards 17,000 or 1750. We did a rally up from the 20 exponential moving average. I was expecting this to go all the way down to the 50, but uh, people got fairly uh, impatient and basically started buying quite aggressively at the end of the US session. So if we manage to take out these previous highs, we have a double top here, and then we are most likely going towards the 17,000 and then 70,500. If you look at the MACD, it is still bullish. We can see the stochastic is still in bullish territory and crossing the signal line, also a bullish indication, and we're only at 57 in the daily in the RSI. So there's a lot of room to the upside before this runs into any uh, major um, resistance level. So this was a really nice uh, christmas rally a pullback between uh, christmas and new year and now it looks like this is ready to pop yet again towards 17,500. if we were to break below the 50 moving average then we'll most likely go retest these levels down here at 15,600, uh, give or take it's not until we basically break below the 200 moving average that we'll have any kind of trend change and as you can see we are far away from that at this current stage and kind of looks like we were building up momentum in december in order to go significantly higher so the first months of uh, of uh, of uh, of 2022 could be uh, fairly bullish until we get to march when we most likely will have um the first uh, rate rate uh, rate heights uh, rate increases and that usually for at least tech companies is very bad and you could see this market starting tumbling at that point. So let's look at oil. So oil is struggling at the 50 moving average. It did fall towards the 20 exponential, uh, got towards the 74.32 and then popped, but still, we are still struggling at the 50 moving average and if we break below the middle of the bullish band here then we are going to test the 200 moving average again and then probably the 300 moving average we did really pop from the 300 moving average only 
in the beginning of December and we had another pop here. So there's a lot of there's a lot of um, support in around this area, give or take a 67, um, 62 up towards 65 is an area of uh, major support. So getting into that area or if you break below that, then this is really going to fall apart. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, to um, this market. Uh, there are very bullish um, analysis for the energy market. But they're also a fairly bearish analysis for the energy market. And as I can see it at the current stage, if we break below 62, which we can see is major support here, here, also here, then this market is going to go really uh, significantly lower. It, in the long run, uh, if, um, if uh, central banks start increasing interest rates, then that will have an effect on the real economy it will start to slow down and demand for oil will also start to slow and that of course uh, will lower prices um, for the long run so it will be really interesting to see at the moment we have a triangle here if you look at here there's a major support and the four resistant is roughly roughly here so we basically need to break above this line in order to go uh, up towards 80 85 and then beyond that at this current stage it kind of looks like we are going to go back towards this level and then at some point we'll start to break down but that's not until we get into march and that is also uh, the, the period where we'll have um, the first um, rate hikes in in, in the United States and so on. Some other central banks have already, already started. And uh, yes, we are probably going to see the end of this major um, bull run that we have seen for oil. It is kind of looking like that we are going to go back towards the 50, what we basically saw uh, prior to uh, the coronavirus, where we were uh, trading from roughly at 61 down towards is set 50 for a really really long time and you can also way go way back um, this market won't go um, up forever and um, yes you basically see that if, if we get towards uh, 90 or 100 dollars per barrel and that we will see actions from other governments because that will um, that will be really bad for for production because it adds cost to production so in this case scenario is going to be really interesting whether or not we break above this line if we do then we are most likely going to go significantly higher but at this point i'm expecting this market to drop significantly towards the downside yet again so let's look at natural gas Yeah, I have no idea what is happening with uh, Etoro's um, uh, charts today, but they are working really terrible. Um, but natural gas, we can see that it is hovering around it just in the uh, 300 uh, moving average. And uh, it is expected for this market to drop it towards the $3. So that is kind of the estimated move for this. It, this was basically the pop for for the cold winter and uh, it was an amazing rally i got into this rally uh, fairly uh, late uh, around this area here roughly four dollars i entered this market and uh, this was probably one of my best trades uh, for uh, the whole of 2021 um, it was extremely choppy it went very parabolical then it fell apart and then went par parabolical so there was a lot of entering and leaving the market and so on but we'll probably won't see these um, uh, these levels again until next summer that is uh, when uh, it becomes extremely probably if it gets really hot in the united states and there is less demand now there's less supply then then we'll see these levels again otherwise uh, it will probably see this market returning back towards these very lows of roughly 1.5 or or two dollars um, we are hanging on here uh, we are struggling at the 20 exponential 
every time we get towards it, it gets it really sells off. The day was a really good day, but uh, we're also bouncing off the 300 moving average. If 300 moving average gives away, then we'll most likely have a massive drop towards the $3 range. If we look at the MACD, we can see that it is negative territory, but still above the signal line, which is fairly bullish. We can see the stochastic is bearish and the RSI is at the 43. And uh, yes, there's a lot of room to the downside. So we may see this go back and forward uh, for some time. And if we break, then $3 will most likely be our target. I don't become bullish in this market until we basically break above the 50 moving average. And we are very, very, very far away from that. Most likely what's going to happen here is that the 250 moving average is going to cross the um 200 moving average and we'll have a golden crossing and probably at that point we'll see this market dip all the way down to three dollars so let's look at bitcoin yeah strange so uh yes bitcoin also is looking terrible at this point we had this major drop here. This is um, in the 5th of, of uh, December, where this, uh, we had this major drop in Bitcoin. And usually, um, after the rallies here, it tends to uh, drift back towards these levels. So I think that we are going to see 42. And we're most likely also going to see the 50 moving average cross the 200 moving average and that will be a very negative golden crossing and we'll probably go then back towards the 40k and if that breaks all the way down to the previous lows here of roughly 30k so at the moment there is not the same hype in this market and it will most likely also suffer from increased interest rates and so on in the long run if these two major support levels break, then we will probably go into uh, crypto winter, as they usually call it. It has been an amazing run for crypto, um, but it is looking uh, less interesting at this current stage. So it'll be interesting to see whether or not it breaks down towards uh, 30, 40, and then 30. And then after that, then is much, much, much lower levels. Uh, if we manage to break above the 50 moving average, then we could go back and try testing the very highs again. But at this current stage, it more looks like um, uh, a bearish market than a bullish market. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is across in the signal line in neg negative territory. We can see that the stochastic is also uh, bearish and so is the, is the RSI. And we are at the 37 at this point, so there's not a lot of room to the downside. If we drop all the way down to the $40 uh, level, then we'll mostly have a fairly big rally before continuing uh, lower. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum has, has definitely been outperforming uh, Bitcoin in recently. If you can see, we are, uh, it's far more bullish than Bitcoin is. Uh, so probably the more applications for Ethereum and uh, it looks like every single time we get towards the $200, uh, 200 moving average that uh, people are ready to basically um, put a lot of money into this market. We had a major uh, channel here getting all the way up towards roughly 4000 uh, 800 before uh, turning around and uh, it'll be interesting to see whether or not we have another pop like this to the upside when we get to the uh, 200 moving average which i think is going to be where we are heading towards if we are going to see the 50 moving average cross the uh, 200 moving average then we could see this market go the same way as bitcoin but more likely at this point that we'll see a pop like we see here and here to the upside when we get towards the 200 moving average uh, we have to get much lower apparently in order for this market to fall apart but major uh, support levels for ethereum is roughly here uh, 2800 or 2700 750 and then it's down here all the way down to 7 uh, 1715 and then we have 1500 give or take 1200 1500 
and so on. So there's a big drop before we get to those major support levels, but still above the 200 moving average and people are looking very willing to buy this when we get towards those levels. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is flat. Still a lot of room to the downside. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, and see our newest videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.